So Mr. Andrew Holness had something to say to the criminals and we've heard him say things to the criminals time and time again but this one was kind of interesting because a lot of people had a lot to say in contrast to what this article is about and it says prime minister andrew holness has vowed that the government will use every legal tool at its at its disposal <laughs> to erode the capacity of criminals to spread mayhem across the island addressing a hastily called press conference at jamaica house yesterday to announce a state of emergency in sections of the corporate area Holness said that this is just one measure his administration will use in the fight against crime. The, the state of emergency is but one tool that is forward-facing that the public sees, but there are other things that the government is doing that are already bearing fruit. And why the public can't know what that is. That's bearing fruit. That is so positive that is helping we would love to know among the other tools pointed to by wholeness was increasing the investigative capacity of the police to ensure that when cases are taken before the court there is the evidence to support them and indeed we are seeing the effect of this that when persons are brought before the court with solid cases, the intention is that they are kept in the law enforcement and the justice system for the penalty they deserve. Yes, they are being kept in the justice system, but are they getting the time that they deserve? Um, that's up for debate, depending on who you're asking. He argued that the decline in major crimes recorded across the island since the start of the year was taking place not only in three areas that were under state of emergency. Because it is not just a state of emergency on which the government is relying, the government is improving its regular policing, is improving its intelligence, it is improving its surveillance cap capabilities, and we are making a major impact on crime, declared Holness as he noted that 245 fewer murders have been recorded so far this year when compared to the same period last year. So it's 245 murders fewer compared to 2017. According to Holness, the intention of the government is to get the murder figure to below 1,000, creating psychological impact. More than 1,600 persons were murdered in the island last year. Once we get to the point, we can start get Jamaica believing that 1,000 murder is not normal. 1,000 mur murders is actually abnormal then we can have the public support necessary and we can start to have the information flow necessary to support the work that we are doing. He went on to say, I believe with law-abiding citizens and the police force working together, we can make Jamaica safe, peaceful and the paradise we all know it should be. And that's where I'm going to stop right there. And then I'm going to read some comments off the Gleaner's um, Instagram page because I felt like a lot of these commenters has a lot of good pointers and a lot of things that I agree with and a lot of pointers that I've pointed out in previous videos. But let's get into it. And it says... Somebody says, fewer than 1,000, what a disgrace. From being able to sleep with your doors and win windows open, kiss me teeth, wicked, reckless government. And Mr. Holness was the one that promised Jamaican citizens before he went into office that he will make sure that the crime is reduced so that Jamaican citizens can 
sleep with their windows and door open like the old days when we didn't have to worry about people murdering us for no reason. Somebody said crime isn't solved by raids or increasing police force. Crime is solved by targeting the root issue of the problem. There's a reason why certain countries don't have a high crime rate. And I have to agree. The root of the problems in Jamaica is jobs and people being able to find jobs. That's just simply put. And also our parenting skills are lacking because um, we're not taking telling anymore. And the older Jamaicans are not doing what they used to do impart knowledge basically mr andrew and the other other elected leaders who don't qualify to lead a country them non pass through there so you come right out of traffic end up in a special zone where them stop and search you the one in spanish town is just a band-aid over an infected wound that won't heal Think stopping a few cars can stop crime. What about actually going in the affected communities and actually do some policing? Shaking my head. The zone isn't effective at all. It'll do all it do a hold up traffic and make people late for work. So this person is saying Andrew Holness don't have to go through a, a zone of special operations or go through a state of emergency when him a got him yard. So him not really care the amount of state of emergency that he is calling on these parishes and it's not doing anything more than putting a band-aid over something like the root of the matter is still there it's still not being solved basically somebody said this is ridiculous did he actually say that a fewer than a thousand how much is fewer 999 or is he saying no more than one if not none per year bring in saudi arabia rules that's what jamaica needs if you smile too much you ha your hand gets chopped off that is going to the extreme right there um a lot of these elected officials when they put into a position we expect results we don't expect empty promises and jamaicans have this um notion that if these politicians are trying or if they might do something then it's okay it's not actually okay we put them in that position and they need to be held accountable for everything that they said that they were going to do and they were going to do as far as improving the country keeping their word basically Somebody says, get the source, the, fa the facilitators and financiers of crime. Bop. Hit the nail on the head right there. Business owners, politicians, scammers, it's not rocket science. You can keep out in fires and the fuel supply is still on. Harsh truth is successive government don't genuinely want to solve crime. Crime is a big business, and we've said that time and time again. It's a way of control and driving fear. Until a big businessman or politician's daughter, wives, get raped, murder on a certain scale, then the then and only then maybe will we will see real crime fighting solutions occurring. And I have to agree they're non-sympathetic and because it doesn't affect them they claim that they're trying and they're doing something when in truth and in fact they're not doing as much as they could but that's what the people had to say a lot of these um um people in the comment section i have to agree with so comment what you think in the comment section do you think that this new state of emergency is just another band-aid over a infected wound that is not being fixed 
by the root of the problem or do you think that the zone of special operations is helping and it's actually doing something and the crime rate is not as bad as last year so that's something positive that's coming out of it so comment in the comment section don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl here on youtube i'm a part of here man deuces